Hi everybody. Today we are going to learn how we can install Google Play on Windows 11. As you know, Windows 11 has announced a new feature which is called Windows Android Subsystem. So we'll learn today in 3 to 5 minutes inshallah, uh, we'll install Google's uh, play, Google Play so you can uh, run Android apps or the games on your Windows directly. Basically these are two systems which you need to download from the website, the Windows uh, Android subsystem and uh, Android tools but I have already downloaded these so I'll give you the links. You can uh, just get those and I have uh, cracked that Windows subsystem for you. So you don't need to do anything, just three or four easy steps and then you will be in. First of all, what you have to do, just right, click on search icon button and find the um, developer settings. Uh, just we'll go to settings, right click on uh, Windows start button, go to settings, find developer settings. okay and then uh, you have to turn this mode on developer mode turn this mode on when you turn this mode on press yes and that's all then another thing is just go to search question and uh, write windows turn on windows features turn on windows features this utility just turn run it wait for a while find two options over here which is called virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform you need to click these enable these i have already enabled these virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform they should be on and the one thing one more thing you have to check your bios and the virtualization should be enabled over there uh, i cannot show you this because uh, during recording i cannot show i'll include uh, some pictures how you can uh, enable there there's system to system there are different bios versions but our option is there so you need to find that option and just enable that one okay we have done two things next what we'll do we'll go to the folder where uh, we have downloaded uh, this google play system windows subsystem for android i have downloaded in uh, in my games folder it is over here google play s I, I, put, I gave a name Google PLS so just right click and uh, copy this folder as path yeah okay go to search button I'll Windows PowerShell okay I'll run this PowerShell as an administrator yes okay now you will uh, Right, CD, and you will find the path you have uh, selected of your folder. Click in. Now you are in that folder. Now you have to uh, add a command over here, which is which I'll give you uh, in the description. This is the command: add apx package register dot apx manifest.xml just press center you will see it start installing windows subsystem if it is there yeah it is here windows subsystem has, a, has installed on my pc i'll just double click it and what i have to do i have to go to developer mode turn it on and then developer settings you call developer settings press continue and you will find it's now starting and you will find some notifications in your system uh, for the wire firewall permissions and google play store will start installing in the system wait a while let it install
take some time in initialization or setting it up in your system waiting 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 Now uh, it's showing that it's on. Just press close. Refresh IP address. You will start. The IP address will be start visible in your uh, settings. Close it on. And the another thing is, you need to uh, extract some files of another uh, raw file. Let me show you that file. That is. Uh, over there uh, it's named by platform tools these are basically android platform tools i have already uh, extracted these tools in in a folder i have made that folder in uh, c drive named by android platform tools so you can see these tools so you have to come to this folder and then uh, click and write cmd now you are you have executed the command cmd command within this folder now we are going to uh, connect it with uh, our uh, android system so we we'll write this command adb connect 127.0.01.1 this is basically a private ip address uh, if you are using that address that will be much better for you otherwise if you are using the address which were visible in the android system every time you have to reconnect if you restart your pc but if you are using this one you don't need to uh, connect the device again and again just press and let's see it's connecting okay if you see any uh, failure notice over here don't worry about it just write adb devices and press it's showing that these this device has been connected with it now we are go we have only two commands left We'll go to uh, ADB shell and uh, we'll write su and now you have, we have root access in it so we'll write set in force 0 sorry misspell set in force Zero. Yes, all done. Close it. Close it. Find the Google Play icon. Yes, the Play Store icon is there. Click on it, and now you can sign it. So we are going to sign our Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. Give your ID. password and you can see it's logging in oh, I agree so this is the play store we just installed on my PC I can uh, install any app from this play store likewise it's, it can easily be installed uh, in your phone likewise i want to install uh, what what i want i want to install this what the uh, camera screen so i'm going to install this app i just press install mm. you can see it's being installed on the pc so I, i'll show you how uh, can easily be the Android app be installed uh, on the system or how, how easily I can install Android app in my system you through this Play Store so it's installing done okay it comes in my uh, menu yeah 
so this is Android app which is installed by the Play Store so I can install any Android app through my Play Store now it's done it's all done thank you very much be with me and learn with me thank you keep visiting my channel please hit subscribe and the bell icon